Hello and welcome to History Pod. On the 13th of May 1787, the 11 ships of the First Fleet set sail under Captain Arthur Phillip from Portsmouth in England to establish a penal colony in Australia. As well as over a thousand British, African, American and French convicts who'd been sentenced to transportation, the ships also carried officers, crew, marines and their families. It took 252 days for the six convict ships, three store ships and two Royal Navy escort ships to complete the journey. The difficult route involved the ships sailing first from Portsmouth to Tenerife and then across the Atlantic to Rio de Janeiro, where they restocked their provisions and took livestock on board to establish the new settlement. They then sailed via Cape Town and the Great Southern Ocean to Australia. Although that route at first sounds to be inefficient, it ensured optimal usage of the prevailing winds and currents to actually speed up the journey. Despite the lengthy voyage and numerous dangers along the route that included tropical storms and shortage of supplies, the entire fleet of 11 ships arrived safely in Botany Bay. Going ashore to investigate Captain Cook's proposed site for the penal colony, Captain Phillip soon chose to instead find a different location because the soil was poor quality and there was limited access to fresh water. After further exploration, six days later he moved the fleet a few kilometres north to Sydney Cove and the British flag was raised. 48 people had died en route, but over 1,400 survived to establish the first European outpost in Australia on the 26th of January 1788, the date which still marks Australia Day. 